Hey everybody, this is Chris. This is my buddy Chris. And uh, we're with Marvy. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go over there. Where's the falls? That way. That way. So, uh, we're in Buffalo, New York. And besides being famous for Niagara Falls, which you shall see, um, it's famous for a couple other things. Of course, one of the most obvious ones would be Buffalo Wings. I got a feeling uh, you're up to something. <laughs> Want to go for a swim? No. <laughs> All right, so there's your upstream part of the lake or the river. And then the falls are just right over here. Yeah, if you look down below, my friend Chris pointed out to me if you remember, I said that um, uh, Buffalo had the very first electric street lamps. Now, of course, we all know gas lamps go back forever and ever, but electric street lamps were here because of the power generated by uh, Niagara. And if you look way down there, you will see the original power plant which my friend Chris said that they are actually restoring into a museum or something of interest. Um, we had just crossed the state line. We're officially in Pennsylvania. So, Marvie and I have traversed two states, her driving the mighty white Chevy van and me walking. Uh, so I feel like I've had a little bit of a sense of accomplishment uh, over the last uh, couple months. So since February 23rd, uh, started off with on a really slow walk. Uh, we've had really bad weather, a uh, lot of steep hills and stopping often to rest and make sure the body is going to make it. You know, it's a marathon, not a race. And uh, so I'm gonna try over the next month to really, I'm gonna really have to pick up my stride. Right now I'm averaging between 12 and 15 miles a day. So I'm looking forward to doing more miles every day. Um, but again, I just, I can only go as fast as these old bones will let me. So uh, the weather isn't really that much of a factor. I've walked so far and except for tornadoes, I don't think uh, um, I can't say it can get much worse because that'll be the kiss of death. But so far, um, everything's been so, going so great. Hey, Massachusetts, uh, all of our friends and people and, and people we've met along the way in Massachusetts, Ned and Kathy and all those folks. And of course, New York, all of the great people there. Our new Patreon people, Eric and Sarah, who uh, let us stay at their house and gave us a great Easter dinner. Uh, Brenda and Gary. Gary, thank you for working on my brakes, making sure we're safe on the road. And Brenda, thanks for driving that extra 60 mile round trip to bring us a peanut butter chocolate pie. You will never be forgotten. <laughs> that was great. And of course, all of the other people we have met that have come out. Um, but uh, everything's just been great. New York was fantastic. Um, our good friends, Chris and Jake, uh, extended their hospitality. We got to, of course, see uh, Niagara Falls. And Niagara Falls was cold, uh, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, so overall, I think we're doing really well. And uh, this is giving everybody a different perspective than um, your normal person who may hike the Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail or even other crossers, which we call people who walk across the United States or run or bicycle. 
I'm not sure if there's anyone else but me right now crossing. I know there were several other folks that were uh, walking and running and bicycling and e-biking, but you know, luckily we're self-sufficient in the van, which allows us to uh, extreme social distancing. Um, and so we feel very safe in doing this, but we also have the resources. We can pack a lot of water and, and uh, fuel and food in the van. So we're not needed to be needing to be around people. So uh, we feel pretty good about it. And so I think we might be the only ones right now doing this. If you are watching and you are currently uh, crossing the United States, drop a line and let me know where you're at and your channel or information about you. I'd like to support each other during this uh, difficult crossing. Once again, thanks to our Patreon people. Man, you know, I mean, you guys really help out. Let me interrupt this. You, nobody has to join Patreon and support us if you don't want. We certainly just appreciate the fact that you might even make it to the end of our videos. Um, but the people who do support us, thank you guys so much. We were hoping to fund a lot of our trip by me speaking at hiking clubs or Kiwanis clubs or different organizations in these towns across the country by either charging a nominal fee or donations to help fund this trip. Unfortunately, the virus got in the way and everything shut down there. So all of you folks on Patreon, uh, bless your hearts. We really thank you guys. You're doing great. Um, and again, thanks to uh, all of the other folks that have extended their hospitality and support along the way. Anyway, I can't think of anything else to cover right now. Religion, uh, politics, nah. I'm trying to steer clear of all of that stuff. Oh, yes, trolls, trolls. <laughs> Remember, um, I wanna talk about that just for a second. Um, the reality is the more successful you are, uh, the more trolls that are gonna find your site and just kind of angry people. And I've gotten feedback that, boy, you know, when you start getting trolls, then you know you're successful. And other people say, yes, let them say ugly things, but don't engage with them. Of course, you shouldn't engage with them because they're crazy. You know, they're middle-aged guys living in the basement of their mom's house or, or whoever, and they're just, there's nothing you're going to do except give them attention. So you generally just ignore trolls. But some folks say that you should let the trolls make their comments and that will increase your watcher loyalty because people will come and support you. Um, I don't know, I kind of see that as a manipulation of you and your emotions. So uh, again, I want to keep our videos really fun and entertaining as much as possible, but real, I mean, real. We don't sugarcoat, like I said, anything. But I don't want the negativity. I'm not gonna over sensationalize the weather or I don't wanna over sensationalize a COVID-19 virus or anything like that. And the same thing is I don't want the negativity of some loud mouth you know, troll that's just desiring attention and is just kind of angry with themselves. So you may see one of their comments briefly, but um, when I'm off the road and I see them, um, they will be hidden from your view um, quickly, just so I, you don't have to be subjected to that. Um, now, don't get me wrong. If you disagree with me, if you don't care for something or you would like to see something, um, I respond very positively to, you know, constructive criticism. I don't have an issue with that. It's just a psychotic, crazy little folks that uh, I just want to get rid of so you don't have to experience it as part of the comments, okay? I'm not trying to make it a la-la-la, happy-happy place that's boring. I just don't think, I think we can be civil and respect each other and uh, express our differences in a constructive way. Uh, so if you can't do that, just go ahead and drop off our, our YouTube channel. I appreciate you watching and go ahead and find those battles that you want to fight at 2 a.m. in the dark recesses of your home on your computer, but it's not going to be here. Okay, there, that's all done. So... 
I think I covered everything for this week. Really excited again about being in, in uh, Pennsylvania. We are kind of, uh, I think we might be done with the snow. I should not say that, right? But I'm gonna go out on the limb being, it's like April 22nd or 23rd. And I'm gonna go out on the limb and say that we're done with uh, the snow. Uh, we're still in vineyard country. Uh, we went through Welch's grapes, or Concord grape area. And uh, Welch's makes, it gets a, most of their grapes, I think, from this region. Correct me if I'm wrong, you New York and Pennsylvania wine people. But also lots of vineyards here, um, as you can see. There's lots of vineyards. So um, anyway, the next stop, I will not make Erie, Pennsylvania tonight. I might, but it's about 18 miles to go. And I just started walking and I'm getting, I have some blisters and corns on my feet. So I'm gonna do the best I can, but that's the other thing. I hate to go on about this, but my gosh, the one bad thing about the virus is that I can't go and buy shoes anywhere. It's not like I can go into REI. I have one pair of shoes I need to return because they don't work for me. And uh, and I really hate ordering shoes because I try on three or four pairs of shoes just to even see if they fit. Because, you know, I'm walking 15 to 20 miles a day. And uh, uh, so that's very frustrating. But I'm going to have to order some stuff pretty soon in, at Amazon. And it's going to take them, I think, a while to deliver it. Cool train. I don't know. It's a little boy in me. I love trains. Don't know what it is. And finally, hold on for this tractor to go by. Yeah, so anyway, finally what I was saying is shoes. Um, uh, I'm going to do a review, maybe not on the normal Wednesday videos like this one is, but maybe another one that's going to give you an update for anyone who's interested in shoes. Uh, um, I'm gonna do a review on my feet, walking and shoes etc etc so pay attention for that look for that if you're interested in what kind of shoes i have and again it's a learning process as i go so uh the shoes i'm wearing now may be completely different in two months uh so we'll we'll do that anyway on my way to lake erie no we're at lake erie lake erie by the way is only a couple miles right over here this is why we catch all this very strange weather lately. Uh, but the town of Erie, Pennsylvania uh, will be my next stop. And then we will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like. Give a thumbs up. If you don't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I understand. I want your honest uh, feedback. Please subscribe if you're watching this. I know this is not going to be the most entertaining one. But go back and look at the other videos. And if you like us and you want to follow us, hit that subscribe button so you can uh, uh, be notified. And the little bell, it notifies you when the uh, uh, notifications, when we get a new video out, because they're not only just on Wednesdays, okay? Oh, and more important than anything, share. Let your friends know. A lot of people are sitting at home and share the videos, okay? I gotta go. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.